This is a review of landmark papers for damage control laparotomy from the East Landmark Papers online resource. It is well known that if the abdomen is not closed in the early postoperative period after a damage control technique has been performed, the combination of adhesions and fascial retraction frequently make primary fascial closure impossible and creation of a planned ventral hernia is required. In this paper, the authors attempt to illustrate that negative pressure wound therapy is superior to non-negative pressure wound therapy for fascial closure during index hospitalization. A prospective evaluation of 212 trauma patients admitted to Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center over a 19-month period who required management with an open abdomen were studied. Vacuum-assisted fascial closure employs suction applied to a large polyurethane sponge under an occlusive dressing in the wound and allows for constant medial attraction of the abdominal fascia. It was attempted in all patients in whom the rectus muscles and fascia are intact. Variables studied included fascial closure rate, time to closure, incidence of wound dehiscence, and hernia development after closure. Vacuum-assisted fascial closure was attempted in 43 patients with an 88% success rate for primary closure, which was significantly higher than the 69% rate of fascial closure during the time in which the technique was developed. The mean time to closure was 9.5 days, with 21 patients closed at greater than 9 days. Two patients developed wound dehiscence and underwent re-expiration for closure. One patient required a ventral hernia repair. In conclusion, the use of vacuum-assisted fascial closure under a defined protocol resulted in a significantly higher primary fascial closure rate, thus reducing the need for subsequent hernia repair.